It is the 22nd of the 9th, 2012, and I have a special heads up for everybody. A 25 foot long metal beam falls into reactor number 3 spent fuel pool at Fukushima. Not clear if any fuel rods have been broken. Could further complicate removal efforts. Again, a large steel rod has fallen from a crane from a high height into the number 3 spent fuel pool. According to the newspaper up, up at FD1 reactor number 3, a steel beam, 470 kilograms, uh, 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 7 meters, fell into the spent fuel pool. And they've got links attached to that, of course. TEPCO announced on September 22nd that a steel frame weighing about 470 kilograms dropped into the spent fuel pool of reactor number 3 during the debris removal operation of the reactor building. So far, there is no major increase in radiation levels nearby, TEPCO says. According to the TEPCO, uh, the accident happened at 11.05 a.m. on September 22nd uh, when the quaint crane operator tried to grab a piece of debris, an H steel lying next to the spent fuel pool on the fifth floor of reactor number three building, and failed. Uh, the H steel slid into the spent fuel pool. And again, they've got several other stories attached to this. Now, I went to uh, the, the Fuku One Live um, channel here on YouTube, and there seems to be a discrepancy in the time period um, between um, 10 a.m. and noon. They have two different videos out because this happened at 11.05. Uh, the 11 o'clock to noon tape starts... Uh, not where uh, the 10 to 11 tape ends. So there's a the time discrepancy there. I'm sure they've uh, censored uh, the actual piece of metal falling off the crane. But if uh, take a look for yourself. Links below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Heads up.